Hello. In this lecture, we are going to have introduction to object-oriented modeling and design. It is a core subject for seven sem students. The code for this subject is 10 CS 71. This is the prescribed textbook object-oriented modeling and design with UML second edition. Authors are Michael Blah and James Ramberg. These are the two authors who has written this book. In this section, we are going to have an introduction to class OOMD. In this, we are going to study the object-oriented concepts, software development life cycle, and a video which shows you on class and objects, design stage, and modeling. In this modeling, you will be studying the three models, which are class model, state model, and interaction model. First of all, we study about object-oriented concepts. Here, you need to know what class is, what state and behavior is. If you consider a class, it is state and behavior. Together, we call it as a class. What is the state? State is the data members or the properties. Behavior means member functions. This you have seen in the object-oriented concepts that is in OOPS object-oriented programming you have seen a class which contains member functions as well as the data members. This is the development life cycle of a software where we have an software development life cycle diagram which shows the requirement analysis, design, implementation, testing, evolution. Here requirement analysis is the first stage where the requirements are collected from the customers. The next stage is the design stage. Before the requirement and the before the design stage and the requirement analysis in between, we need to have to analyze the requirements which is needed, which is not needed. Then we'll come to the designing part where we have the architecture as well as the designing done. Next is the implementation. Implementation here will have a coding done using different programming languages. In analysis, you put up a question what has to be done. In design, you will put up a question how it is to be done. Here, we'll have what has to be done. Here, we'll have the how it is to be done. Next is the implementation. As I told, you can have coding done with different programming languages. Next is the testing, where you will have the verification and validation done. Verification and validation means whether you have a developed right product or the product which you have developed is the right one. Next we have the evolution. In evolution, we will put whatever the software we have developed under the deployment means using. So, after using, if you want to have any changes done to that, again you will move to the requirement analysis stage. Like this, the cycle will proceed. Here, we have a video on class and object. Now, let us see the video on object and class. Next 
next week. Here we put up a question called how it has to be done. Design stage involves how to proceed with the development process. Next is modeling. Model is an abstraction of something or the purpose of understanding it before building it. Testing is the physical entity before building it. Communication with the customer. Visualization. Reduction in complexity. These are the purposes of modeling. Object oriented concepts. Object has state which exhibits some well defined behavior and identity. It's an instance of class. Class it's a blueprint from which objects are created. So here you need to know about objects as well as classes. If you know these two concepts then we can proceed further. Here we have our object oriented modeling and design. This is the subject that you are going to study throughout this semester. Object oriented modeling and design is a way of thinking about problems using models which is organized around the real world concepts. So whatever the real world objects we have, we think, we design and we get a model. These are the three models, class model, state model, interaction model. This is how we picturize these three models. Class model which describes the structure of objects in a system, their identity, their relationships to other objects. Class diagram express the class model, classes, structure, behavior and associations. The second model is which describes the state, state model which describes those aspects of objects concerned with the time and the sequencing of operations. State diagram express state model state and its event interaction model this is the third model or the third leg of the modeling which describes interaction between objects how individual objects collaborate to each other with the system as a whole here we have use cases sequence diagram and activity diagrams document major themes for interaction between system and outside world. At last, we need to know about the UML notations. Here we have the class, how to represent the class. Class has three compartments. First compartment is the class name, second compartment is the data members and the third compartment is the member functions. Here this is how we represent the interface and next we have the use cases where we use in the third model interaction model. This is how we represent the state and then we have the component diagram and how to represent a node is a cube and we have the activity diagram which this notation specifies about the activity. Like this we have several other notations which you will be using throughout this subject. Now we have come to an end where if you have any doubts you can ask me. So any questions?